Hello everybody and welcome back to Crusader Kings where we are currently embroiled in a war and I was going to say that I have no memory of this war but actually as I was saying that I remembered that Anhalt here was rebelling. So let's head on in here. That first zoom is always a doozy and we're chasing their army up over this direction. Okay sure we're also sieging over here. Now that's an interesting path to take. We're going to catch them there, and that's not commanded by ruler. Okay, good to know. But that is... Oh, hang on. We just jumped to 97%. Oh, these occupations finished. Right. This is going to end the war. Okay, well, that's super easy. Uh, we'll invest in a jeweler's workshop. That's fine. And, oh yeah, we're capped on, war, on battle war score. That's right. But either ticking or this siege will finish the war. It'll be ticking. So that's fine. This will be over very shortly. That's very good for us, of course. We don't really want to be embroiled in wars right now. So let's wrap this on up. As soon as our ally here gets around to putting an end to the war, we are at 100% war score. So let's see when that happens. There we go. Fantastic. We'll disband those troops. And... Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's part of Bavaria. It just hadn't updated. Just wanted to double check that. So that's great. We are going to get that, of course, when the inheritances happen. Wonderful. So from here, we could ransom off some prisoners. We will ransom non-vassal prisoners. We'll ransom off this guy. We should bump up the speed four, and we will go ahead and do so. We'll ransom this guy as well. Hmm. She would never d disrespect the sanctity of our marriage. And even if she did, I don't want to know about it because that could mess up our succession. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, so we definitely want to come in here and do additional upgrades. But overall, this is all looking good. Hmm. Uh, the son and heir of our vassal is plotting against him. Okay, I, I, don't, I don't care. The cold-hearted fiend. <laughs> Hey, look, we're actually going to have borders with Kazaria now. So this isn't going to be entirely ugly border core. It's just going to be mostly ugly border core. Now, I'm not sure if there's going to be any splitting of the realms. It actually could happen with Bavaria, couldn't it? It's on high partition. They have two kingdoms. So we should expect that the kingdom of Sorbia is going to be split. However, we may have a claim that we can press on that. That said, we can we press our own claims? I'm not sure we've discussed that. How does that fit into the rule set? We can press de jure claims, but can we press claims that we ourselves have? I think as long as they're not fabricated claims should be the rule there. That's my theory. Like, if it's if it's a claim that we inherited because, like, our, our parents owned that title, I think that's valid to press. That's my current thinking, anyway. Feel free to let me know if you disagree, but for right now, that's what I'm thinking. I don't know that it'll be relevant for a while yet, but it, it will become relevant at a certain time in the future. So that's something that we do need to think about. Now, we should declare on Estonia again. We can do a de jure claim, and it will definitely be this one. I want to get that out of the way. So we'll go ahead and do that. Of course, this is a pacifist play, but we are allowed to do de jure wars. And personally, I would, I would think that, uh, broadly speaking, pressing your own claim that you did not fabricate, because fabricating claims, in my opinion, is right out under this rule set. But pressing your own claim that you didn't fabricate is not, in my opinion, fundamentally different from de jure claims. It's something that you set up via familial relations, right? Where is this guy going? Here? Okay, sure. We do get a stewardship perk available, and we're going to take War Profiteer. Help offset some of these costs. I like it. So we're instantly at 26% from taking the war goal, and we're going to head on over here, see if we can fight this guy, get up to 50%. That would be nice. He's actually going to let us fight here. The hardest part of ruling is indeed staying awake. Excellent. 
So what do we get out of this war? Or rather, this battle. 57%? Okay, well, we'll just head up to their capital. I imagine that's where they're retreating. We don't know that for a fact, but they're going to retreat up that way. They may retreat up to, like, here. It's hard to say. But I'm guessing they're heading to their capital. And in fact, that's exactly where they're heading. And they're going to head off over this way. That's okay. We'll just siege down their capital. I'm content with this. It's going to take them a while to get down here. If they even try. Ooh, stewardship lifestyle experience. They may try to siege over this way somewhere. Uh, no. We are not divorcing her. And it's definitely not consanguineous. We've already discussed this. Get out of here. She is not our cousin. That is definitely not true. <laughs> we know this for an absolute fact. Like, there is no relation here. None at all. Okay, I mean, eventually there's a relation in the same way that everyone's related to a banana, but no, <laughs> there's no relation there. I mean, it's less distant than that, but we'll go ahead and enforce this. There we go, and disband our troops. Fantastic. And we'll hop on down here, work on upgrading our economy. We do want to get the rest of Estonia taken over, but for now, that's the best we can do since we are restricted in that way. We don't have any CBs over this way, I don't think. This Jarl has claims, but not like we can press those. those are, that is completely illegal, and we would never do that. So Bavaria, did you forget about our alliance again? No? Okay, good. Did you give away any territory again for free? No? Okay, good. <laughs> So yeah, there's going to be some territory that we don't get from Bavaria. That should be expected. For Kazaria, that's not going to be the case, though, because we'll get the Empire title. So that is fantastic. Well, this is definitely taking a while to inherit, but that's okay. These are going to be very, very large power swings. France is probably going to be our next target, but we really can't afford to also be having France worked on, I don't think. Although, oh, this is some awkward succession here. Marquisa. Yeah, she's not even in the list here. Who even is this guy? I have no idea. Why are you the heir, buddy? <laughs> is he designated or what? Duchy of Valois. Kingdom of France is male-only partition. Okay, that makes sense. Male-only partition. Well, that's going to make things somewhat more complicated. But, I mean, we can still work on that. So, like, that's a granddaughter. Mm, that's not going to be great. But we could check down the line of succession here. Yeah, nothing too major there that we can work with. We'll have to wait on France. That succession law is going to be problematic. We could demand payment from this guy, and we definitely will. We're going to get 50 gold from this guy. I like it. And then we are going to upgrade our economies where we can. Perfect. We gained 35 prestige there. Nice. I would like to bump up our domain limit, but for now, there's not really much of an option there. We'll just continue to upgrade our economy. Fantastic. So with that economy coming on in, we will attack Estonia soon enough. Do we have any other de jure claims? Maybe on this guy? No, these are not de jure. Okay, maybe on Pinsk? Nope. Great Moravia. Actually, we do have a single de jure claim on Great Moravia. Let's do it. Fantastic. So we will raise up our troops. It actually doesn't really matter where we raise them up here. They only have like 2,000 troops, so we don't need to raise very many. This is plenty. Excellent. I suppose unless they hire mercs. We would need to keep an eye on that. We see he's down over here. He is embroiled in other wars. So this is fine. He's probably going to want to just give up this county, in all honesty, because this is not a very valuable war. 
But we can go ahead and grab detailed ledgers, and that will boost up our income a little bit. We just inherited this county. And honestly, I would love to keep it. Unfortunately, our spouse is not available. And we're just lacking in the domain for getting another one. Huh. Do we have a better steward? No, we do not. Okay. I'd want, I really want to keep this. I really, really do. Maybe being one over our limit isn't too bad. And then we'd need to take this back as well eventually. We can call this okay for now. So we'll finish up this siege here. And we'll just continue doing some sieging. We're 32% war score right now, and we do expect this war to be pretty simple, in all honesty. We'll head on up over here next. Cool. Actually, he's sieging our territory. We're going to go fight him. That'll be our best way to get war score right now. We are, we are going to have ticking on our side, so that's great. And where's he going to go? He's going to fight over here. Well, we'll just chill here. I don't know that this is going to get us war score, though, because we aren't the defender here, officially. Yeah, it didn't. But we can come in here and siege. That'll be fine. Excellent. We are a master hunter. That's not necessarily the greatest thing. And she is a fortune builder. So that's actually going to be pretty decent. I wouldn't mind dying at a point in the near future, but... Oh, we're both feeling fine. We're both hanging on. An enemy ally has joined this war. Not this war. A different war. Oh, okay. He replaced him. Got it. Well, we're at 62% war score here. And we're just going to continue to siege our way through this here. I think it's fine. We'll get ticking war score and siege war score. And, I mean, if we get a chance to fight this guy, it'd be fine. But he's going to siege here. Sure, we'll enter the royal court. A flesh wound, huh? He'll pay for my carpet. Fantastic. And sure. Continue your artistic pursuits. How's that siege going? Hmm. They're going to take this back. We're actually going to walk over here and fight them. Are they going to let us catch them? That would be foolish if they did. Okay, we spent 75 prestige, but that's okay. Yeah, this is absolutely foolish of him to remain here. This probably ends the war. Yes, it does. Perfect. So we'll enforce his demands. We get that single county. It's not a particularly great war, but it's better than nothing. And we'll put this guy in as our marshal. We can also work on our economy here a little bit. I wouldn't mind upgrading over here. That's now fully maxed out. And a lot of these castles actually are. Almost. Of course, we don't have burrs done. Arched Saddle will be done very soon. We definitely need a trade port over here. That is for sure. Offer Concubine. We don't need a Concubine right now. Hey, 75 prestige. I like it. We are above our domain limit. We would prefer not to be, but we can raise a runestone and we will definitely do this. For our vanquished foe, and I don't care where we put it. We should also probably go ahead and hold court. It's been a while, so let's go ahead and do that. There are three petitioners. We're just going to breeze through this real quickly here. Apparently, this person should be returned back to uh, Hungary. And I don't really care. Sure, you can have her. Okay, our vassal approaches, and he is trying to be a champion. Sure. Sure. A thin, raggedy peasant stands before us, and his village was hit by blight, and we're going to give him 150 gold to rebuild. Sure. My business here is done. Fantastic. Oh, okay. And we're closer to forming a friendship with the King of Hungary. That's good. Now, there's not really anything that we can do to deal with this, because this is house seniority. We're going to have to deal with this another way. But that's fine for now. Bavaria has not given up any territory. That's good. Kazaria seems to have stabilized. 
And that's really good too. I'm quite surprised that Kazaria is as weak as they are. What a grand quarry. 300 gold? 300 gold. I like it. Okay. Do we have any more buildings to upgrade here? Actually, we're getting pretty close to capped out. We're not quite there. But we are close. We do need a trade port over here. Cool. What else? And, I mean, all of these will need to be upgraded as well. Non-castle holdings. But I'm more focused on castle holdings at the moment. Oland is going to need quite a lot of work. This is going to be done in just a few days. We should probably come back to that in a moment. An alliance has been fulfilled with the King of Lithuania. Okay, sure. The High Almoner position has been vacated. That is fine. No real problem there. And we'll come back to Borgholm here. 1% chance that we die of laughter. Let's roll it. If we die, that's not the end of the world. We didn't. Okay. Well, I mean, that's not surprising. It was only a 1% chance. <laughs> we'll go ahead and get additional constructions going here. This is maxed out for our current tech level. Okay. I would love to get these military structures building. But sadly, we don't really have the ability to do that right now. We would also like to get all of these structures building, and that's probably a higher priority than just hoarding the gold right now. So we'll go ahead and do so. Just work on developing our economy. This is maxed out. That's nice to see. This is maxed out as well. Ransom. Yes, we accept that. Perfect. Okay, so this guy's feeling fine. That's completely okay. I mean, she's going to die eventually, but she has some really good modifiers there. And we don't really have a reason to kill her. It's it's fine to just let it let, let time take its course. That's okay. No problem whatsoever there. We will, of course, continue to construct in locations where we can. We don't have a stewardship lifestyle perk available, and we will go ahead and take... I think Fearful Troops will be better right now. That'll be fine. A scheme at court. Oh, that's rude. And we do need a Chancellor. It'll be this lady. Cool. We can extort subjects, and that's definitely something we're interested in doing right now. Ah, a Liberty War in Kazaria. Okay. So we'll go ahead and take a lot here, and then let's hop on over to Kazaria. Let's take a look at what they've got going on here. Okay. It's not very powerful. But if we were to take this river down, we could get down there pretty quickly. So we'll go ahead and raise up over here. We'll raise probably somewhere around eight to 10,000. This is more than enough. And we're going to need these guys as well. There we go. And we will head on down. So we're going to come up over this way. We don't know exactly where they're going to end up. We'll refocus this once we find out. Okay. We may just end up at their capital here. Although this is the actual capital, is it not? Uh, No, this is the war leader over here. Okay. Sounds good. So we'll just take their capital. And then after that, we'll see about pursuing this army. That'll be absolutely fine. No problem whatsoever there. We'll take a little bit of prestige. We did just get Arched Saddle. So what's being exposed next? We can't control this. This is just random. It is Horseshoes. Okay. Well, that movement speed is handy. It's not the best thing in the world, but it's okay. We will grab Onagers and a Siege Force here. The rest of these troops, they're going to head up over here. And our Siege Force will, of course, siege in their capital. Excellent. So we should have no real problem taking these guys out, assuming we can catch them. They're going to get their siege done. We do have a dangerous faction brewing here. Interesting. We have grandsons and great-grandsons. Those don't do the trick. This would not create us an alliance. That said... 
Eh, that prowess is probably not good. Okay. We're going to head up over this way. We did win the siege of their capital. So that's great. That nets us 12% war score. We're going to pursue these guys, but they are running. And they're running fast. Okay. Now, what can we do about any of these? Hmm. For now, I think we don't do anything. We need to let these sieges wrap up. We need to continue to pursue these guys. They're actually coming around this way. Might be faster for us to come around this way as well. Okay. We'll hold here. These guys are going to move up this way, away from this force. Independence War. Okay. So we accept that, and what is that independence for? That's up over here. Okay, for the moment, we're not going to be too worried about that. This is a problem while we're in these other wars. That's for sure. He's got two daughters. Hmm. Our half-brother is unmarried. There's no way he's going to accept this, right? But we can give it a go. He actually does. Done. Beautiful. Okay, so we're going to come down over here. That will get rid of that faction. So no problem there. We're going to eliminate this army over here. This is likely to end this war between that and the siege here. We'll see if it happens. I don't know what I clicked on there, but sure. Okay, 76%. That's fine for now. We're going to make our way up over this way. And we need to head over this direction. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're 91% war score now. And we'll deal with the independence faction after we're done with this rebellion. We're 93% war score there. And this siege should end it. Just 50 days here. So, from there, we're going to need to head up over to the Independence faction, up over here. And they only have access to 2,000 troops, and it's only this guy that's rebelling. He's the only one rebelling. Okay. We do need a new marshal. We'll go ahead and put this guy in. Um, sure, I'll educate the boy. That's fine. So, these guys need to head up over this way. So, up we go. Shouldn't be too much of a problem to deal with this. They have ticking war score on their side. On their side. Okay, we died. That's not super shocking that we died there, but we'll handle it. We do have a new lifestyle to choose here, and we've already maxed out the architect tree. That's not bad, but we're going to continue on the wealth focus for the time being. We do need a new council, of course, and we will put in our most qualified people. Let's see. This will be a marshal. And a spy master. Now, I believe we're the wrong religion. Oh, wait, we converted. That's right. We converted to the correct religion. Now we need to convert to the correct culture. Which I believe we can do by going into the county view here. Hmm. Where was that? I know there's a way to do it. Just into the count the, the culture view. From hybrid culture. Can you no longer convert? Do you have to do a hybrid? Wait, it's a, it's a decision, isn't it? Convert to local culture. We need to not be at war. Okay, fair enough. So obviously we're going to have some factionalism here. That's going to be a thing. And we instantly become ill. We're going to send for a physician. Cool. Okay, we will grab this physician here, and we'll do a safe treatment. We're a little brighter. We should recover from this. We are 46. Okay, so right now, no factionalism. I like it. We're going to take these guys and tell them, come on over. Yeah, they're going to take a lot of attrition, but that's okay. It should be fine. 335 casualties. Yes, that should be completely okay. And I'm not surprised that there's going to be an independence faction here. Now, the question then becomes, can we just negotiate with them? And the answer is no, we cannot. 
Want to double check that the succession went through correctly and it appears that it did. Looks good. Okay. Mark of distinction, huh? Okay. Dynasty ban banner becomes either famed or framed. I'm not sure which. I didn't read it closely enough, <laughs> but sure. Okay. We're going to come up over this way now. We're up to 21% war score. Actually, we should just slow siege this back, shouldn't we? That'll be fine. Five months there. So 18%. I was hoping that we would uh, eliminate them, but no such luck. So this guy's 40%, huh? You know, we do have children now, don't we? We do, but they're not particularly useful. Okay. And of course, we are heir to the Haganet of Kazaria. Ec excellent. And our player heir is heir to Bavaria. So that is perfect. We have finished up this siege here. We're going to continue heading towards their capital. We're no longer ill. That's good. And this is just the independence faction. I mean, we can fight these guys if we have to after this war is over. So we're going to take this back and then we're going to come fight these guys. No problem whatsoever there. Our mother is currently sieging the capital. That's wonderful. There we go. 46% war score. We're going to catch them here and this could cap out our battle war score. It did indeed. We stack wiped them. Perfect. Two months, huh? Two months. There's not a lot we can do about this guy. There really, really isn't. Okay. Well, we'll just have to cross that bridge when we get there. We'll wrap all this up and we'll need to move these troops northward. But that's okay. This siege has been won. Let's hop into their capital and speed that up. Wait a second. Their discontent is dropping because their power dropped below the threshold. Okay, that's really, really good. That does buy us time. Ticking war score because of their capital, I assume? Yes, because of their capital. So we're going to have their capital very, very shortly here. And this should end the war, I think. Yes, 44% from ticking. Absolutely, this will end the war. Beautiful. Okay, so that will end the war. And we're just waiting on our mother to actually get around to ending it. Any moment now. There we go. Disband our troops and all is good. And with that, it is time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we're going to see if we can inherit Kazaria. That would be nice. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And I will see you all next time.